Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So uh, a while ago I, I updated the Vera, uploaded a video about Cute Browser. Uh, it's kind of a Vim style, minimalistic, keyboard driven uh, web browser. And it uh, turns out they just recently updated it. Uh, Cute Browser. So if you go to, um, let's just go ahead and open Cute Browser. If you have it installed, you'll notice that your theming is gone, the font sizes are all tiny, and your bookmarks are all gone. Uh, I've got a lot of history here because I've been working on it. But uh, uh, essentially, if you go open and you do a search for Cute Browser, um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a bit here. So when you go to their Cute Browser page and you go to the change log, you'll see that the most recent version, it's not even released, is 1.0.0. And if you go to the Arch uh, repo, you'll see that it's 1.0.1. Uh, second thing you'll note is, um, so what, essentially what that means is your configs aren't there. So your con normal uh, configs would be .config Cute Browser. Uh, but you'll see, uh, well, first of all, if you still have a uh, cute browser.config, it just won't work. It won't read it. So essentially what you do, here, let's go ahead and close this. You would rmrf cute browser, and then you would relaunch cute browser. And so just to show you what it actually populates, it just populates... LTRA just populates quick marks and bookmarks. So there's no settings at all. It doesn't look for any settings. And another thing you can do is if you use uh, mlocate um, and you do a thing just to update the database of files. So you do sudo update db and you do a locate cute browser. And you just went through this. You won't you won't see really any configs. You'll you'll see some because I have some backed up in my git dot files re repo. So essentially, I'm going to be getting rid of that. Um, but I'm going to have a Gentoo machine here pretty quick, so I'll leave those for now because I'm pretty sure Gentoo will be on. Uh, we'll still use the 1.0 photo. And if it doesn't, I can decide to if I want to. Um, you can even see my notes here in my Dropbox folder. So, uh, so anyways, if we keep going up, you'll see that there's no config file. So uh, anyways, again, all you have are these two options. So the first thing you want to do is um, you, you just type in, and it's going to be really hard to see, I apologize, but if you look down here in the bottom left corner real carefully, it's, it's set, and that's all. So colon, set, enter. And what we have now is a, is a HTML uh, interface for Cute Browser. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom back in so you guys can see this. So I'm going to do first off is forward slash font and enter. And uh, so the first thing is the hint, foreground's black, background's green. So if we just hit F here, you'll see that it's uh, looks more like a yellow to me. I don't know why they say uh, green. Yeah. Anyways. I'm not going to change the colors, so if we hit N, N, now we start getting into the actual fonts here. So I'm going to change everything to uh, probably Terminus. I kind of like Terminus. No, I'm going to do Deja Vu. So make, if you do Deja Vu, make sure you copy the quotes because there's spaces in there. Control C, highlight, Control V. And if you watch really closely when we get to the bottom here, the last two. Uh, oh. Undo. V, control, V, control. For some reason, the f uh, prompts. Yeah, I'm going to just leave that as sans serif. There's got maybe a reason for that. So you just noticed that one changed. And when I control V, watch up here, it'd be really hard to see. But when I click away, the font changes. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change these all to one size bigger, or two sizes bigger. Oops. Trying to get all quick here, it's messing me up. Uh, 10, oops, 10, 12, 10, 10, 10. These are all like error messages and notes and messages. And so, okay, so now we get to the status bar, which is down here at the bottom. 
I'm just gonna leave that at 10. But for the tab bar uh, up at the top, I want this to be a 12 because I like it a little bit bigger up there. So you see this is quite a bit bigger. Another thing I'm going to do is for the tab, I'm gonna call this uh, bold because I like it to be a little bit more stand out. So if we look up here, it just went bold. So that's the first thing we do. Uh, the next thing, um, if I do, if I open, oops, and I do tab clone, and hit tab to hit tab clone. Um, if I go shift J, now let me do another one, tab clone. If I do shift J, it goes right. And if I do shift K, it goes left. Shift K, shift K, shift J, J, it's backwards really bothers me. So I'm going to do a tab, search for tab next. And you see it's in here. So uh, I'm going to do this tab prev. And if we do a tab prev, uh, should be in here somewhere. Du -du -du. Search for tab prev. Tab Preve. There we go. We're gonna make this, and then we do in for next. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's okay. So to tab, yeah. So Shift K needs, needs to be next. So if we click out, then I go Shift J it goes left, and Shift K it goes right. J K Shift J K. So that's much better. Um, all right, that's fixed. Uh, so we can go ahead and do. Uh, update ad blocker now ad blocker update which is cool excellent okay so this one's a little bit harder I'm probably going to just copy and paste it in the description of the video so we're going to do a um, search engine search or search just a search okay so we're going to leave DuckDuckGo is the default, why not? Um, now this is where it gets a little, little, actually I'm gonna, okay, so I'm gonna do an open and I'm gonna do Arch Linux Qt Browser and follow to F there. And there are a couple um, shortcuts I'm gonna use, so AW, so copy and Shift J and here, uh, inside the bracket here, we're gonna do co uh, uh, comma, and how does it, just wanna make sure I get this right, comma, co uh, uh, quote, aw, quote, colon, and quote, and then shift V for paste. And then I'm gonna do comma, uh, Gentoo Wiki GW uh, Nope, that's not right. Gotta make sure I get this right. There can't be an AW in there, right? Yeah. And then GW is going to be the same thing. Colon paste. And I'm gonna take this out. It's a little tricky, so bear with me here. And parenthesis or a quote, and then I'm going to do the Google one. Just the URL in this case. Save the deleting. And go to the very end. And it's going to be G quote colon quote paste quote. And hopefully we don't get an error. And we did get an error case. I screwed something up here. Uh, da, da, da. AW code HTTPS. Oh, GW quote or uh, GW colon G. Oops. And hopefully, yeah, that still gives an error. You know what, I'm just gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna go, uh, Kate, uh, let's do this. 
Home, Kate, Dropbox, Tux. Uh, cute browser. And just copy all this. There, so yeah, just, just copy and paste it from the description. It's a pain in the butt to get the syntax just right because it likes to bork itself. All right, <clears throat> so the next thing we want to do are the, uh, so let's just do open and do cute. And I'm just gonna use my uh, shortcut here because I've already used it. It's so cute cutebrowser.org faq.html. And I'm gonna do some key bindings. So we're gonna do uh, bind, and I'm gonna bind these two because that's what I always use, semicolon J, hint, links, spawn, pv, hint, URL. And I'm gonna do another one, which is uh, bind, and I believe I have to use those, capital O-U. And I'm gonna do hint, links, spawn. And uh, what I'm using here is, um, is yart stream, oops, I don't know what I just did. Yart stream link, uh, come on. That's why I use shortcut. Yeah, okay, so stream link is kind of like what YouTube or a live streamer used to be. So we're gonna do uh, spawn uh, stream link, p player is mpv, and hint dash url, and finish it off with best. Okay, so let's do uh, another one is, um, let's do bind T to, uh, actually, find T to, um, what is it? Tab. Let's see, so it's a tab. There's a tab clone. I can't remember where I found it. So anyways, we'll just do uh, bind t to tab clone. That's good enough. So let's just go ahead and do hit t so we get a new tab. It, I wanted to do a uh, wonder. So I'm just searching through here, insert mode. Uh, last, new position, heading. There was a, something about changing your, t oh yeah, tab T, yeah, open T, dash T. Okay, so unbind T, and then I'm gonna go bind T to open T. So if I just do T, now it brings up the DuckDuckGo, which is, uh, so if we look at where we just were right here, use the URL, so when this open T is used, it's gonna go to DuckDuckGo. So you can change that if you want. And if you wanna change your UL, URL start, um, you can do it here. So this is where, when you open a new one, and this can be your home page, which would be on the GitHub. So if I do that, then I just go, oops. If I do that, I just go colon home. I'll go to my GitHub. And if I do T, it opens a new DuckDuckGo page. Okay. Uh, so one of the things I wanted to do here is Twitch, open twitch.tv, forward to GH at the top left to browse, forward to GD for Battlegrounds, 
Okay, I can do uh, semicolon J and use MPV directly. So there's that, and then I can also use Shift O U. Oops, no, see, open is T, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. Um, so I need to find a different bi uh, binding for Shift O U for the uh, for the. So I'm gonna unbind. OU. Yeah, open T is uh, is a new tab. So let's go back to. Uh, let's see. What do I want to use? Unbind. Make sure it's unbound. Okay. Let's do uh, bind. Um, da -da. All right, why don't we do semicolon H? And we'll do hint links spawn stream link P and PV hint URL best. Okay, so now we can we can open Twitch TV forward to browse forward to GD again, and then we do semicolon H and then JJ. There, so that works as well. So um, you can use, you can either use e MPV directly, or you can use, uh, uh, again, this, this program, uh, Streamlink. I think that's about it. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you later.